going to talk about the bass. The bass pretty much on most club sound systems and pretty much any sound system these days is a huge, huge predominating factor because it's the most significant highlight in the song where people can actually really feel that beat. It all comes from the bass. So if we can use that to our advantage, to tell our story when we're transferring, when we're doing mixes, when this track is playing and we're mixing this track into it, the point of transfer. Now in house music, what you can do is you can make it less progressive and more sudden. And the way I mix is I like to actually whack in my bass line very suddenly because I, I find it's, it's more of an exaggerated highlight of this one's coming forward. Now they might still be mixing at that point of change. They might be out clean, whereas this one is completely gone and this one's completely taken off. The point is it's always a variety, it's never the same. If you keep doing the same method of mixing all the time, it might be fantastic in one go, but it's gonna get boring pretty quickly. What I'd like to show you on the actual mixer is how to use the bass to your advantage, how to drive that system without redlining. It's really, really important. And it's very, very important when we start to use other turntables in here that we don't overcook the system with those reds. We've got to make sure that if we've got three songs playing all at the same time, that only one is going to have that bass up. You can in some circumstances, if the system can handle it, drive with a double bass mix, but it gets pretty tricky and generally it's not going to work. So I predominantly lead one song with one bass up. Let's have a look. I'm going to show you an example here of exactly what I was just talking about in relation to the transfer of bass exchange. So let's just start off with the track. I'm going to loop it and then I'm going to mix this one in, but I'm going to throw that bass line in. So you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Let's have a go. So we're just going to loop this, it's just a 4 cam. This track's now mixing over the top of it. Now watch how I kill the bass when the breakdown comes. Exchange, see? This one's going to take track and I'm going to bring this one down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, you ready? Okay, see how the transfer of bass has happened? Now, let's do it the same way, but let's hold this track and mix this track back in, and let's illustrate that bass line again. Start this track. Mixing. Now I've really got to watch my master volume here. I generally have it on one orange light slightly clicking, it may be two, but that's it. Now, let me show you what happens if I bring both bases up. It's too much. Now I'm going to transition my, my base exchange in the breakdown. The breakdown's coming up. I can look at my bar waveform and I can see it's going to happen right now. Here we go. Once again, the exchange. Now this track is going to take off and we're going to use that bass line again. Let's bring the bass back out to exaggerate when it takes off. And let's keep this going. Now watch when I kick the bass in. 
So I'm using that bass. It's telling you this is this is changing, and I'm exaggerating that change. So that's another example of when you've got two tracks playing constantly, you don't just cut it right out. And we can exaggerate it. Muck around with it, play around with it. So that's a really, really good illustration of how you can use the bass to your advantage. Now, on a big system, that's going to be massively exaggerated. And look, at the end of the day, when you've got a dance floor happening and they're engaged and they're in sync with what you're doing, you've got their attention. When you can deliver that big bass drop, you create that drama, they know it's coming. It's almost like you're instructing a class. So you better make sure you deliver. But when you do, it's awesome when it drops. Let's have a quick look at another example. So I'm just going to run through a quick mix here and I'm going to show you how I use that bass line. The examples that I'm going to give you are going to be variable. So just keep a close eye out for how I exchange, how I pull one track in, push one track forward, how I cut mix and cut one out clean, how I still keep them both going but I use the bass as a transfer of exchange. Let's have a look.
Yeah. 